everybody and welcome on my channel. This is Alexandre from Angel Carter MNC and it's my pleasure to welcome you today on this new video series. So to uh, actually re reward you and to thank you for your support, for your love and for subscribing to the channel and making all this good stuff, I really wanted to uh, reward each and every one of you and I wanted to give you all a reading. Okay, so I thought that I should do an annual reading using the Lenormand Oracle for each of the zodiac signs. Okay, so these are general reading and it's a month by month reading where you will find uh, information, guidance, messages that will really help you get the most of your year 2018. I also advise you to check the videos that uh, actually matches your, uh, your moon sign, your rising sign, to get even more uh, wonderful and beautiful messages. So I look forward to your subscription, to your comments, and I leave you with your reading and wish you all a wonderful 2018. Good morning, Virgo. Alexandre here, and welcome to your No Normal Reading for 2018. So, this is a general reading for you. It's my gift for you for 2018. And um, I will also advise you to have a look at the videos which are um, aligned to your uh, moon sign, your rising sign, to get even more deeper uh, information. Okay? And if you would like a personal reading tailor-made for you, uh, you will find the link in the description box below and you will and we will be able to book a reading with me. We're going to look at each month of 2018 and see what are the general theme, the energy, the guidance and uh, whatever the cards want to share with us. So without further ado, let us start your reading. Okay, your cards are down and we are going to look at each pile that is aligned to each month of the year starting with January. January you have the tower, the dog and the coffin. So what these cards are telling us is that there is uh, some isolation, there is some like, you know, friendship ending in January. It seems like you're closing the door to a friendship or closing the door to a partner and really wanting to move alone in life, okay? So it could be uh, a month of transformation, of you having more higher expectations, and also, um, you are trying to learn more about the occult, about your gift, about your psyche, your, your um, personal development as well. So there is a lot that is going on for you in January. And you're really going to think about you first and try to transform uh, the situation to its best possible outcome. Okay, so moving to February, with the uh, fox here, I continue to get the sense it's all about your psychic and your talent that is opening up. You're going to work furthermore on, you know, on practicing, on really understanding and being a good apprentice. You really want to get your art to its perfection and you're going to dedicate time and effort in that. This is wonderful. Uh, you will be also uh, starting a new job, okay, so those who are in the, like, you know, uh, well-being industry, being, um, you know, working with, uh, with children or working like a sport coach, there will be some opening happening there, okay, and uh, it's a time of new beginning as well. It continues with the month of February. Okay, moving to March, you are attaining many of your goals. Okay, 
um, many of the expectation that you'd had starting 2017 and going through it and then starting this new new year of 2018 is you know attaining many many goals and um, trying to be the best uh, version of you possible okay so you will make project you will make um, decisions as well into you know investing yourself in long-term things with the anchor here and really you're going to be noticed you're going to be successful you're going to be uh, really you know admire okay and it's a wonderful time for you so moving now to the month of April we have the mountain the, the store and we have the house so these cards as combination give us, you know, after a long time of block or not being able to move forward or to be able to uh, uh, actually, uh, yes, move. <laughs> move, it can be a house, move, it can be changing locality. It can be also metaphoric, you know, overcoming difficulties related to family, mother, father issue with the queen and the king of heart it can be also issues uh, of a husband and a wife so there have been some blockages in the past and now you know it's the time where you um, you fly above all these problems okay and you find the perfect place that you can call home or the perfect job or you know the perfect atmosphere the house is also atmosphere the perfect atmosphere where you feel well where you feel you are at your you know at the right place moving to June we have the birds we have the heart and we also have the, the book so this is telling us that actually there is some talk okay about love about relationship about feelings it's also opening yourself up to a potential partner talking to a potential partner really you know trying to uh, you know uh, be honest with yourself be honest with this person there is a great deal of you know being afraid and uh, not knowing if I need to move forward or I need to stop there. There is, you know, this feeling here of not knowing what to do with the book. It's always that. It's the unknown, you know, it's not written yet. We have to write the story and we have to talk before starting to write the story. So it's a very intriguing month as well. Uh, moving to June. June here, sorry if I'm uh, perhaps sometimes uh, mismatch the month, just, you know, pound the, the space and you would know where we are. Uh, now we are in June, position six, and there is the lilies, the snake, and there is the tree. Okay, so there would be some, um, if you are an elderly person, there could be some issues about uh, arthrosis, you know, about circulation, it could be also, you know, uh, not feeling, you know, the best of your shape. So this can uh, relate to you. It can also be interacting with a younger woman, okay? And uh, this is not positive at all. This person will act on your health and, you know, drag your energy and your, uh, your money as well down. So be cautious as well. And uh, yeah, there will be seductive person around you and you really need to take care of your health during the month of June, okay? July, there is um, like not good news of, uh, coming to you. There is a lot of confusion. There is not knowing where to go. It's like, you know, everything is unclear and uh, uncertain. Uh, it's a month where you should not take any decision. You should, you know, I think and, and pose and uh, uh, really wait to see things clearly because you will make some errors that lately on you will regret. So please don't rush yourself into any sort of, um, of you know, of decision. Then we move to the month of August. August is about deal and decision. It's about also financial uh uh, matters it can be um, 
um, you know, a contract signed and there is like, you know, decision that needs to be made here. There can be some modification as well. It can be also a strong a bond that you have with someone in the past and this is diffusing, this is weakening or another person can enter in your life and try to drag you from your, you know, your 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 family your your tribe okay so be very careful as well with these kind of encounters moving to the month of september there is the flowers the bouquet the cross and the scythe so here there is a lot of burden that is going to be cut away and uh, maybe there have been some people who have been abusing of you and who have been more of a problem that uh, a healing, you know. So here, um, yeah, there is decisions, there is cutting cords, there is, you know, clearing away the old and really wanting to bring, um, you know, new things in your life. It really resonate with what you're going to experience with the month of January. It, it's going to be um, aligned. Something will happen in January that will affect September, okay? October, there is the garden, there is the ship, and there is the, the sun. So telling me that you are going to move from a group of person, okay, this person may be drag your energy a little bit too much okay and if you are wanting to have a trip with some people so this is a good one as well but it will be also tiring okay so uh it's quite a positive month about changes again there is a lot of changes happening there you will be perhaps moving a lot driving a lot traveling a lot there is a lot of movement happening here as well and it's a month where you're not going to be alone as well, okay? So moving to uh, November. November, we have the mice, we have the fish, and we have the rider. So here there is expenses about, uh, you know, movement, traveling, maybe what you've been traveling last month, and this had made a gap in your budget. And yeah, you haven't thought about that. So be really uh, cautious with your budget. Be really cautious with people that enters your life, who had recently entered your life with the rider, uh, because these are people that will not stay. The fish also is someone who will not stay. So having a date or meeting someone in this month of November is not a great thing, okay? It is more about stress, about feeling miserable and not feeling well. So December, we end the year with some good perspective. We have attained uh, some success. We had luck and we had also uh, been noticed by people. It can be soulmate, it can be uh, at your work, it could be your personal luck. So there had been some things that had been happening and that bring the year to a happy ending. Okay, so Virgo, this is your reading and I hope that you enjoy it. Like I said, if you want a personal reading, you will find the link in the description box below. The deck that I'm using here are called now the Alexandre Mastrak Lenormand Oracle Cards. You can pre-order them on Amazon. Uh, it will be published by Schiffer Publishing. I have got a contract with them for mass market publication together with my book, The Art of Lenormand Reading, which is the companion book to this deck. And you can pre-order them from Amazon, from Barnes & Nobles, from uh, Schiffer themselves, and you know, get your copies coming up next uh, summer, 2018, coming summer. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, to share, and to like the videos, and we'll talk soon on another episode.